Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze the Bitcoin price and also compare to the DXY since the traditional market is trading again. And today we have a very nice starting of the week. So we see currently all over the markets, the stock market so far, at least in Asia and Europe, nice green numbers also in the crypto market we have currently everything on the green and bitcoin is again fighting here towards the eleven thousand dollar so that is of course a very very bullish sign that we are now pushing to the upside i didn't expect this uh, push here towards 11k already now in the morning but uh, we have also to be a bit uh, cautious here because of course uh, we are still in an uptrend but there will be pullbacks and I think we will still have maybe one last big pullback before we continue really the big parabolic move to the upside to break also the old all-time high of $20,000. And uh, we can analyze now the lower time frames and then go over to the bigger time frames uh, comparing the DXY to the Bitcoin price. So the Bitcoin price currently is looking like that it wants to push higher. We have now the 20, 50 moving average above the 200, which is very bullish. The problem is only that currently we have a bit overbought here, the RSI, and also I got a sell signal. So this little pullback here to the downside was expected. But since we are now right here at the 20 moving average at $10,800, it is very likely that now we're going to bounce here from $10,800 if we see continuation to the upside. Because $10,800 previously was resistance and right now it should be acting as a support. So as long as we can keep up here above $10,800, I'm expecting continuation to the upside potentially even towards $11,200 because that was our last uh, bullish target at least for a pullback to the upside and it is very likely that we could reach $11,200 especially if here 10.8 is gonna hold and if we go over into the Bollinger Band you can see that also now the middle line is right here at $10,800 and it looks like that we have here a little pullback towards this new support and here we're gonna have to see if we're gonna have a big bounce to the upside or not. The problem is also that the stochastic is shifted to the downside and MACD and KST are looking a bit toppy, especially here the MACD. If here we're going to have a bearish cross, then prepare to see a drop at least towards $10,800. And if we're not able to hold it and bounce from it, then we could even drop towards $10,640 again. And this resulted here in a fake out. So in that case, we wouldn't have a confirmation that 10,800 is the new support. And if we go over into the DXY, you can see that currently the DXY is having a correction. It has been also quite overbought here in the lower time frames. And since we are now breaking below the 20 and 50 moving average in the one hour, it looks like that we're coming down here to maybe test the 200 moving average in the one hour and then bounce from it. Because if we're able to bounce here at the 200 moving average, we will remain in an upwards movement here in the DXY. And that, of course, would mean more dumps in the Bitcoin and stock market prices. But at least for now, it looks like that we're going to see here a breather, maybe even down here towards the $94 area and then continue the upwards movement here because I'm still pretty confident that in the DXY, we still have some room left to the upside. So since we broke out here from this $94 resistance, it is very likely that we, now we're going to have a pullback, retest this area and then continue to the upside. Only if we are going lower than $94 and also lose here the 200 moving average in one hour, I think there could be more sell-offs here in the DXY and that would mean that we're going to see continuation to the upside in the Bitcoin price and overall also in the stock market. And now let's have a look also quickly in the CME chart because we don't have any new future gap. So the CMEs are trading now again and also here it looks like that the one hour is having now a little correction most likely towards here the $10,900 here on the CME chart. And now let's go back to the Bitstamp chart and open up the four hour time frame because here right now we are closing four hour candles above the 200 moving average which of course is a very bullish sign and this is also what I wanted to see in order to see continuation to the upside and potentially test here this $11,200 area up here and uh, we can say that we have a confirmation that this is now the new support but I also want to see the 20 and 50 moving average 
trading again above the 200 moving average in order to have this completely confirmed and also to have maybe the chance to even break this $11,200 resistance because so far it looks like that this $11,200 is still a potential top here at least a local top and we're gonna see then continuation to the downside but for now it looks like that we're trying to push higher here and in the four hour you can also see that currently we're trading above the 50 in the RSI we still have some room left to the upside but of course also to the downside to maybe test again the 50 level but it looks like that here we're gonna see continuation to the upside and also also, if we have a look into the Bollinger Band, here you can see that currently we're overshooting it to the upside. This is, of course, what you want to see during a bull run. But since now we are trading sideways, I think here most likely we are coming down again to maybe retest this $10,800 and then maybe have another bounce towards $11,200 only if we will close here one hour or four hour candles below 10,800 that is a warning sign that we could see again prices uh, below 10,800 most likely to retest 10,500 and if this also is not holding then of course 10k and lower because we still have the CME gap at $9,600 we have KSD and MACD, even stochastic, all shifted to the upside. So also here, I think if we're going to see a correction to the downside and everywhere we're going to have a bearish cross, then this could lead into a retest of $10,800 and there we have to see if it's going to hold or not. Because if we go over into the DXY, you can see that currently we are just testing the 20 moving average in the 4 hour. And here in theory, we should see a big bounce to the upside in order to continue here the push towards potentially 95 to 97 dollars on the DXY also here we were a bit overbought and currently we are seeing a healthy correction down to the 50 level in the RSI I also got the sell signal here in the DXY so this little pullback was expected the only problem is that even if we would lose here the 20 moving average and go down to test the 50 level here at around $94 or go even lower towards the 200 moving average and then bounce again from it we will still remain here in an uptrend because currently we are still looking very bullish in the DXY we have the 50 and 20 moving average trading way above the 200 so that's why even though here we could see a major pullback overall we are still maintaining this uptrend here in the DXY and only if we are able to bring the 20 and 50 moving average again below the 200 and start to closing candles below the 200 moving average then I think this would be the confirmation that we are back in a bear market here in the DXY even for the short term but at least for now it looks like that here we're going to see continuation to the upside and now let's go over to the daily time frame in the bitcoin price because currently we are closing daily candles above the 20 daily moving average which is a very bullish sign but we still have our 50 daily right here at our previous resistance here at around 11,000. $200 and that's why even though I am beginning to be more bullish I still have some bearish signs that makes me think that we will not see here continuation towards 12k and higher but most likely we're gonna top out somewhere here at 11,200 and then maybe have another leg down test the 200 daily moving average close the CME gap at 9,600 and then maybe continue the upwards movement towards 12k again and also break it but for now in the short term it looks bullish but overall i still think we could be in here for a major correction still so i definitely wouldn't go all in right now but if we're gonna have such a test down here to those levels i think that would be the place where i would start to look to go all in again and although we are testing right now the 50 level in the rsi so if we are able to push higher here we would have a lot of room left here to the upside and uh, potentially at least go to test the 50 daily moving average but if here we're getting rejected from the 50 level we most likely will go down and lower again here than the 20 daily moving average and most likely then see 10k pretty soon and if we open up the bollinger band also here you can see that currently we're trading in the upper area but even though we are still maintaining here this area I think if we're gonna have here one last daily close below $10,600 this will most likely initiate here a major drop towards $10,100 at least if the DXY is starting to pump again. We have stochastic still shifted to the upside it's not yet overbought so we still have some room left to the upside and I'm expecting at least in the next couple of hours or days some more movements to the upside 
but overall I would be very careful if you go with high leveraged longs in your trades or go all in into Bitcoin right now. So maybe start to DCA if you took out some profits but definitely don't go all in right now. I would wait for the price to drop way lower to go all in. At least this is my own opinion. And also MACD and KST are still moving sideways here. Uh, they are shifted to the upside, but I think they are quite flat. And that's why I still think there is still some uncertainty in the market. And therefore you should be really prepared for all scenarios and trade very careful. I'm not in a trade right now because I want to wait for a clear move and also clear signs in my indicators that we will see a big move to the upside or downside. Currently, I still think we are in this trading range between 11 to $10,000 and we will most likely stay in this area before we're going to see a big push to the upside or to the downside. And we can also have a look into the DXY because here in the daily also it looks a bit toppy. So it looks like that we could have here a possible correction down to the 50 level in the RSI, maybe also to test here again the 20 daily moving average at around $94 and then bounce from it because so far we didn't test it at 200 daily moving average. This is my final target for the DXY here at $97. It is also possible that here at 96, we already get a lot of resistance and get rejected here because this is the 0.3A2 Fib line and also in the past it acted as a support here and also here and now it should be acting as a resistance in theory. So let's see what will happen once we're gonna push higher here and I still think we have some room left to the upside here even though a little pullback here in the DXY was also expected here. But I think as soon as I get here a sell signal maybe we will see um, a major crash at least towards the 20 daily here in the DXY and that could maybe also initiate some very bullish momentum for the stock market and uh, Bitcoin at least for the short to mid term and we could maybe even see prices again towards 12k that is of course uh, possible but i don't expect big fireworks only for this uh, little pullback that the dxy could have uh, at least as long as we are not maybe testing this area up here between 96 to 97 dollars because i think there is still a high chance that we could go up here to test this region up here and since we are in the daily, we can also open up the CME chart because also the CME now is starting to look more bullish. If today we are able to close above 10,840 here, we have to see also the CME chart where it's going to close because so far we didn't have a daily close above the 20 daily here on this chart. So let's see today where we're going to close. And now we can go over into the weekly time frame because last week we had a red week, but we had a close above the 20 weekly moving average at 10,150 which of course is very very bullish and as long as we are closing these weekly candles above this moving average we should be good to go to the upside and uh, of course there's still a high chance that we could wick down here and close the CME gap test the 200 daily moving average and also this uh, 0.382 fib line here at $9,200 that is still in the cards but uh, of course uh, the weekly is still looking very bullish. We have the RSI above the 50 level and also if we switch over into the Bollinger Band, you can see that we are trading right here between these two moving averages, but still in the upper area here. So the trading range is still here between 11,170 and $10,200. But if you're able to close a weekly candle above 11,100, I think we will go straight up here to test 12,200 again. And if we're gonna have a close below, then we're gonna have most likely this last leg down towards 9,200. In theory, even down towards $8,200 based on the Bollinger Band. But I don't think that we will go way lower than $9,000 because uh, we will have a lot of buy pressure once the CME gap is filled because this is what everyone is watching right now. And the stochastic here had a bullish cross. So let's see this week what it will bring. I think we're gonna face some high volatility in the next couple of weeks and months, uh, at least till the end of the year. And uh, of course, latest next year, I'm expecting uh, to have the big beginning of the parabolic run in the Bitcoin price. And uh, we also have KSC and MACD looking a bit toppy here. So I'm still expecting here a possible correction towards those levels here, also because the weekly is really looking a bit toppy here based on the MACD and KSD and if we here we're gonna test again this 10k area uh, this could lead into a bearish cross and this could indicate that we will see this final leg down 
where I suggest you to go all in and buy everything you can at those cheap prices if we go again sub 10k because that could be really the last opportunity to buy so cheap Bitcoin and all the altcoins that you want. And of course, if you're new into crypto space, then use the links that you find down below here in the video description for Binance and Coinbase. Also, Swissborg is easy to use if you want to use your mobile phone. With these exchanges, if you're new into crypto space, you can easily connect your bank account and buy some cryptos with your bank account or also with your credit card. And with my sign up links, you will get some rewards. And if you also want to trade altcoins and Bitcoin with leverage, you can do this on these exchanges that I very much recommend you, especially Bybit, Femex and Bityard. On all of these exchanges, you get some rewards if you use my sign up links and of course you also support the channel. So with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Make sure to moon up the likes on this video. Very much appreciated. Also subscribe here to the channel. If you have Discord, join our free Discord trading chat and also my Twitch channel. you find all the links down below here. And later on, we're going to do also our weekly $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway subscription video sponsored by Bityard. So make sure to subscribe here so you will get notified once the subscription video is on. And there we're also going to do an Ethereum TA. So thank you very much for watching, my friends. And we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.